From the point of view of the secondary market, the Ford Mondeo is quite a promising car and, if you like, not terrible even in the sense of the abundance of its various modifications. You can take any, but with an eye on the exploits of the past owners, the health of the body and the well-being of the power unit, there is nothing to present systemic claims to Mondeo. This should be recognized immediately and unconditionally. More than 80% of its owners are satisfied with the choice they once made and do not complain about fate. Even considering the fact that the front-wheel drive sedan got a lot of engines and transmissions. It's not so easy to find a hatchback or station wagon on the secondary, although the sedan suits us just fine. Usually, mindful of taxi drivers, it is not recommended to take a family car with previous owners from among legal entities, in the simplest version with a 1.6 engine and a 5-speed manual gearbox. But even this circumstance is not an absolute. You need to look at a specific car. In addition to the 1.6-liter Duratec, we were sold gasoline-aspirated 2.0 liters, 145 horsepower, and 2.3 liters, 161 horsepower as well as a Volvo 2.5-liter 220-horsepower turbo engine. During restyling, it was immediately replaced by two supercharged units of the EcoBoost family, 1.6 liters with 160 horsepower, and 2.0 liters for 203 forces. Diesel in Ukraine was mostly one, Durtor 2.0, 140 horsepower. There are no spontaneous problems with motors. At 1.6, the camshaft couplings were capricious, but in 2008 the problem was eliminated. The 2-liter Duratec is perhaps the most common and reliable unit under the Mondeo hood. With it, cars rolled back 300 to 400,000 km without major repairs. The only thing is that he and his 2.3-liter Mazda brother Duratec sometimes mope, detonation, floating idle and not starting the first time due to a clogged throttle. With the cleaning of the throttle assembly, the problems go away. For some reason, the 2.5T motor on Mondeo since with current oil seals. Their replacement on both shafts will cost $200 to $300. Diesel does not cause any problems either. The whims at startup are usually the result of a clogged throttle. Cleaning will cost only a couple of hundred rivnia, and a new unit will cost 10 times more. Turbine geometry control valve may buzz. After replacing the valve, the sound disappears, although this does not affect the life of the motor. Sometimes, closer to the 100,000th run, the exhaust gas recirculation EGR, valve fails. It costs about $300 to replace it. However, you can avoid costs by installing a plug on the tube. High pressure fuel pump usually lives on our diesel fuel up to 150,000 km. Injectors can take a long time, but only if the fuel filter has been changed at least once every 20,000 km. The problem of particulate filters also bypass the diesel Mondeo. Petrol engines 1.6 and 2.0 relied on a 5-speed manual gearbox. In general, the transmission is reliable. The clutch release bearing can be considered the only weak point, although the car can travel up to 150,000 km before replacing the disc and bearing. A 6-speed mechanics was installed on a 2.5T engine, and a 6-speed automatic was relied on for diesel and gasoline 2.3. There are, perhaps, no special undertakings in the matter of extending the life of both MCPs. We change the oil every 100,000 kilometers. Well, or at least along with the replacement of the clutch. The machine is also durable. Up to 100,000 kilometers of run, there are no problems with it. However, jolts when switching from first to second are a reason to think about flashing. If the shocks progress, eventually this will entail the replacement of the torque converter. But the tandem of the new EcoBoost engines and the PowerShift robotic gearbox with two clutches is extremely successful. There are practically no pauses and shocks, traction is always at hand. The box does not annoy, like a dry analog on focuses. And if you change the oil every 70,000 km, with humane operation, these boxes will serve up to 200,000 km without intervention. And the observed hitches with switching are usually the result of wear on the clutch and synchronizers of the first and second gears. A rotting Mondeo is a rarity. This is possible only after poor quality body repair. LCP will not disappoint. Inside, strictly and neatly. Too many places. Trunk volume is impressive, although its opening is modest. After restyling, the interior has become much more solid. The control buttons sometimes glittle, but the electrics also did not become the weak link of the model. The only almost 100% misfortune is the wiring that frays along the kink at the border of the body and the trunk lid, which can cause the lock to fail. There are relatively few complaints about the suspension. In the sense that there is more. Energy intensive, it provides good stability and enviable handling. 
the stabilizer struts run at least 100,000 km, and the bushings are even called eternal. Quite often they complain about the steering rack. Backlash and knocks are born in it. You can buy a restored part for $500. A repair kit will cost three times cheaper. Steering tips more than 80,000 km, as a rule, do not survive. In a word, a used Mondio is an interesting topic, especially after restyling. The car is liquid, it does not get cheaper quickly, but at the same time it is enough to choose an affordable option for purchase. And the value for money, perhaps, is close to ideal. Mondio hijackers do not notice, there are no special problems with reliability. With a clear conscience, we can recommend an economical diesel version with an automatic. However, petrol options will not disappoint you. The main thing is to take into account the points that you read about above. Suspension in the cold creeks stabilizer bushings and tapping shock absorbers. Support bearings of the front struts, $50 a piece plus the same amount for work, go up to 80,000 km. Front shock absorbers are usually changed after 80 to 100,000 km. The rear ones go longer, about 150,000 km. Motor 1.6 for Mondio is rather weak. You unscrew it to the fullest, which is why the resource comes out faster. As a result, the timing belt often falls short of being replaced according to the regulations. At the same time, the maintainability of this engine, unlike a diesel engine, is unenviable. There are few spare parts for it. They offer a complete cylinder block or the entire engine. The most reliable 5-speed Mechanics MT75, 1.6 had a different box. It was equipped with a 2.0-liter aspirated. Based on it, a 6-speed gearbox for a 2.5D engine and a diesel engine was built. When buying a car, you should pay attention to whether the right drive oil seal is leaking. By the way, this is the attack of many Ford boxes. Serious nuance. Usually the rails float under warranty, they were changed for free. But it happens that leaks happen later. The steering mechanism likes to knock. This happens because of the plastic support sleeve, which does not hold the load and grinds. The power steering pump is handed over after 100,000 km. A new native costs up to $500. The engine ECU lay right behind the front bumper on the left. Even a slight blow during unsuccessful parking can lead to its replacement. Under both bumpers is the parking sensor wiring. She is defenseless, and often the environment takes advantage of this. Sometimes, with high mileage, the fuel pump may also fail. 